allowed to introduce y'all to Ty Houck, who's been part of the Swamp Rabbit Trail since the first half back in 2009. Uh, so can you tell me a little bit more about the trail, how it first started, its name, its origin? Yeah, yeah it, it's a rail trail, so it converted from a railroad to a trail. So if you want to go way back, don't worry, I won't make it a long history. But back in the 1880s, a bunch of business leaders in Greenville were like, hey, let's build a train, a rail that goes from Knoxville, Tennessee to the coast of South Carolina. 1940s, as far as we can tell, is when the people riding the train were like, it's not a very smooth ride. It kind of hops like a rabbit. And a native rabbit around here is called a swamp rabbit. And it was just what history just said, hey, it's not the Greenville and Northern Railroad, it's the Swamp Rabbit Railroad. The cultural thing was tying back the industrial corridor that is the textile crescent, as a lot of people know it around here, and just converting this industrial corridor that was rail into a trail, and then putting more life into businesses like we're at right now, Swamp Rabbit Cafe and Grocery. And one of the data points we was pretty shocking to a lot of people is this 30% of the trail users are using it for transportation, either to get to work or to go do what you would normally get in a car to go do. 